This is where it all began in May of 1979, dockside at the Norfolk Naval Base aboard the carrier USS Nimitz, billed as the real star of the movie The Final Countdown. The crew of the nuclear-powered vessel welcomed the producer of the movie, Peter Douglas, son of actor Kirk Douglas. The movie was conceived by the younger Douglas, and when it came to fruition, he asked his dad to star in it. The pair, along with two other stars from the movie, Catherine Ross and Ron O'Neill, were received aboard the ship by Atlantic Fleet Commander-in-Chief Admiral Gus Kinnear and the commanding officer of the Nimitz, Captain John Batchelor. Earlier, the cast and others affiliated with the movie were questioned by nearly 200 movie critics and Hollywood reporters flown in by charter jet from Washington where they previewed the film. In it, Kirk Douglas portrays the captain of the Nimitz, Ron O'Neill is his executive officer, and Catherine Ross is a secretary aide to a U.S. senator. The final countdown is described as an action adventure that sends the Nimitz through a time warp in the hours just before the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor, December 7, 1941. During the press conference, both Kirk and Peter Douglas acknowledged the Navy and said the Mammoth Project couldn't have been undertaken without their help. The movie opens in Norfolk theaters August 1st. Ava Hurdle, Area 10 Eyewitness News at the Norfolk Naval Base.